Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. Supplies, subs, and spies. Although recently I seem to be moving away from that because we can harass the Germans and the, uh, the rest of the Axis powers, but we can't really defeat them, do much to them by ourselves. Start threatening the resistance in the Normandy region. And I'm look and I'm starting to consider planning a naval invasion of La Rochelle or Bordeaux. Mainly because there don't seem to be many troops there. And we'd have harbors. The view down here is I've really covered this area. It means we'll need to rebuild this. Well, the network's here, but... Resistance um, causing havoc around here, that should help a bit. Building more factories here so I can get this out sooner. Uh, this railway line, that's more of a courtesy thing, I'm not going to bother. Oh, actually, it's not going to take long. I'm going to get this and then upgrade my subs. And we almost have our our second cruiser, the Arthur Griffith. If memory serves me right, he was one of the leaders of the 1916 Rising. We're cer certainly the highly heavily involved in the um, War of Independence. The other one, Michael Collins, named after the after the army at one point. Around about that time. I'm not as fluent as well versed in Irish history as I should be. I grew up outside Ireland. So yeah. And I'm putting these cruisers on them um, on by rating. Maybe I should put them on put them on there. We okay. I'm going to have 50 of these and then I think I am going to put some more subs to replace some newer. We're going to update the same Bren class, get rid of the Holland class. They're just, they're dated. I know they're doing their job fairly well, but I'm not going to get rid of them. I'm just not going to bother upgrading them any further. This armory really get me too much. I think I can get these just as well with the um, technology sharing. If that's really going to be worth it now. I'm getting these armored cars because I might want to provide them as um, for, re for recon. Instead of these motorized recon, they might just provide a little bit of hard soft attack, hard attack. guy got it got injured well anything the resistance here hmm so the best we can get for our, for our network strength is 72 percent 
which is as it sounds we're already getting some invasion defense and flying speed we we can attack better I'm not sure that's really worth doing. They can pull it off and then get Valor. They might have a foothold. Or this little place here off Corfu. So yeah, our navy is very, very heavily focused around around submarines. Not much use of anything else. Great convoys. Oh, the subs will take care of that. That might be worth putting these guys on the North Sea because they have a an ace to help with it. Ah, that was... Yes. Yeah, that may not have been my best decision. Pausing for a moment to see what these provide. Motorized recon. Provides some extra soft attack, some extra hard attack, breakthrough, defense. It's basically a truck with a machine gun. Recon. Ar uh, armored cars provide even more recon. Slightly more soft attack, slightly more hard attack, breakthrough armor. Right, some armor. Not enough to really be much use. And it does buff, buff them quite a bit. This is going to be a very beefy division for us. Those. Yeah, support artillery costs me nothing. And the thing is, support artillery. Support tanks. They don't have terrain penalties. You can basically throw them on any any unit, mountaineers, paratroopers, infantry, marines, and they'll and they just have zero effect effects on the and they but they buff the unit without really providing any downside. Start from the fact that you can't get as many of them in it, in it but hey. There was a war over there. Yeah. 
Galapagos regime. Ecuador. Peru. Took, took him over. Looks like this has actually stabilized a bit. Well, I, actually, I can't really tell, to be honest. But at that point, the Germans are probably stretching their supply lines quite a bit. Yep. That did not work. That's not going to work. It's 1945 and we... We're not doing very well here. I think I'm going to go with this one. Because we're quite good for stability, we've got a fair bit of power built up. I have this in my back pocket just in case. That's gonna be that's gonna be quite good actually. Because um night the night day night the night cycle takes up half of your half the day night cycle. Pricing it, and it has a very significant penalty. So if we can buff our attack then, we just make ourselves even better. These are good. Put another one here. Nope. Not well. Basically, this war is starting to look like Kolobak has many close as we can. Invasion of, um, yeah, the birds are doing quite well actually landing, but once they get there, it just turns out to be Oh, increasing their capacity isn't going to do much. It's, I'd say giving them better defense and organization would be. Engineers we need, field hospital, just so we can, so we don't lose as much. You can see here that they provide an extra attack bonus to an amphibious attack, so there's no reason not to get, get engineers. I think the message is to do flame tank, uh, flame tank uh, support companies, but I don't have the industry for that. I think it's time I get, made the spearheads into an actual spearhead. Now 
then they'll probably put the I'll probably turn the 10th infantry division into one as well. Yeah, we're going to be short on armored cars for a while, but we'll get there. I'm not going to bother with that, so I'm going to switch into the um, support weapons. Because what that'll do is provide extra breakthrough and extra defense. Breakthrough being... Um, Suppose you could, I've heard it described as def a defense stat while you're on the attack. It's basically how much damage you can shrug off while punching through the enemy lines. Ooh. We lose that? Crap! And we lost some bombers. Yeah, cruisers were a bad idea for us. The reason I even got them in the first place is, was to provide some fire support for naval invasions. But. Not my best decision, that. Time to go for service by requirements. It's going to really hinder my ability to build and produce, but. There's not much I can. I kind of need the manpower. Get one of the, the ready to go for. Air supply. back Kelly That does lower the amount speed at which I can do stuff, build, I can produce stuff. Or research speed a bit, but I kind of need it. Fish St. Brendan's are going to be completed. Like four days to complete. Then I am gonna put more hours now. Don't know why I bothered going with the cruisers. Bad idea. sisters are up to their usual shenanigans.
Hmm. Looks like this is, has stabilized a bit. Not enough to really push them back, but enough to at least... That's stabilized. Yeah, it looks like we're kind of settled into a stalemate. Give me some thoughts of a different... And a what? Give me some thoughts of a different a different playthrough where the where I fragmented the entire entire UK, France, America. Plus we'll do that in the settings. I might include a screenshot later. You're showing that. That's the last autosave. Thing. So the next autosave, I'm going to go back to the main menu and show that. Just to, just to give myself something new to try, because this is turning into a bit of a stalemate. As it sounds, we are 20 burst. Somewhere behind, uh, where are we? In Kuko, Iraq, the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan, Chile. Part of the reason I'm doing this is I'm starting to get bored of the stalemate we've, we've gone into. I think I already had this set up. I don't bother with any of that. I haven't tried this, so I don't know what's going what's to be involved. However, from previous playthroughs I've seen, um, Wales, Scotland, England, Northern Ireland would all be separate countries. It might be interesting. But anyway, so that's a good point to end for today. A little short than average, but see you in the next one. Let me know what you think about that suggestion. Okay, for now.